1999, de Pommier and his students proposed that vertical farms could feed overpopulated cities while using less land and less water. They would also cut greenhouse gases by eliminating the need to transport food over long distances. And the idea is finally taking root. Over the past few years, vertical farms have sprouted all over the world, including in Vancouver, Singapore, Panama, the UK, and around the US. Here in Newark, Aero Farms is building out another new farm in a former steel mill, one that's bigger than a football field. Once it's fully operational, it's expected to produce two million pounds of greens a year, all grown vertically. We listen to the plants very carefully to try and understand what they're telling us and try and optimize all these different qualities of a plant. It's a tough business, but it's one that's going to stay and it's going to have a bigger and bigger impact. Do you think vertical farms will help solve our food production problems? Let us know in the comments below.